still wouldn't go in. Have you collected the samples yet? Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. So, is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course... Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien by his fear. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. I this hate our duty damn here. Stuff. This place is fucking weird. This is nothing. The clocks? <laughs> Suddenly I'm really hungry. I wonder how the game tastes. Those people?
This looks like a good one. me for this. of Underhill samples. Thank you. 
This must be one of the samples. All five samples. I should get these back to Underhill. woman with mold for me. I found all five, but I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people, likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know except perhaps bacteria she reminds me of my old biology teacher did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail i didn't see any rangers just walking mold people unless yes if you found mold people you found my rangers I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. I feel like I should ask to see your credentials. There. That didn't take too long now, did it? Ingest this pill then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Oh, Honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. I'll get back to work. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about.
Roger, Captain. Note 7.25. Underhill sent us down this weird-ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables. But we'll say this, uh, Go the worse it smells.
Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6, 7, <laughs> Still in the fresh mold. Well, he's straight up eating the vegetables now, because, well, why not? Mom said, eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skin will turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Ollie, what'd you find now? Oh, 
duty down here. This place is fucking weird. This is nothing. The clocks? Now that's weird. What's weird about a bunch of clocks? Shut up! I think that's the new director. You've returned, I see. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big, angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. You killed it? You found the source and you killed it? I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Her concern is touching. Really. It's too much. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. I found the host. They won't be spreading any more mold. Well done. I'll send burn teams to sanitize the locations. I'm beginning to wonder if these hosts are originating outside the threshold in independent patches of mold growth. You don't sound very optimistic. Optimism is for farmers, as my mother always said. I suppose you could now return to that hiss business you all seem so concerned about. This woman has some incredible tunnel vision. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Ooh, I'm hungry. You hungry, Steve? <sighs> Not funny, man.